just want to talk about like because i heard it on the record when i when i played it like you know it brought me back like looking at these pictures and like hearing you know the other songs on the single it brought me back to that time period of like you know now it's easy to look back in 2022 and be like you know even come away with the with the criticism to say that the shit is nerdy or something and i i just don't see it because it sounds so fucking hard and like i think you know you're talking about i was thinking about this too because like i didn't go to college you know my life was determined by me wanting to get the fuck out of school and start working on music like that was and that dictated the way the rest of my life would go and I graduated high school with a 66 or 67 average, which basically boils down to like either a D minus or a D, you know, if you're doing letter grades. So I, I just did enough to get by. And, you know, the story of like Elle's background is pretty well known in terms of like him sort of getting tossed out of like different public schools. Um, you know, getting permission from his mom to to basically just give up on high school and go to um, recording school and, and sort of like throw himself into music. And, you know, just being a city kid that kind of got bumped around and didn't was kind of like failed by the public school system, which was a similar story to myself, you know, and as I listened to the record, I was like, well, I know, like, basically every voice you hear on this record didn't go to college, you know, didn't have right. that experience of like, you know, we were making music for college kids, but none of us had been to a college before. And so it was kind of crazy to like, to think back on that. And then to hear people put all these like, you know, maybe like retroactive thoughts that weren't here in New York at the time and didn't know, you know, the backgrounds of the people that they were listening to, you know, like, the reason a DPA sounds like it does, this is my opinion, but I know from my own experience of my own production experiments before this single was made, because I started making beats about a year before this came out. And, um, you know, and from watching Elle make beats for years, which we'll get into on other projects later, but like, you know, this is how we educated ourselves. You know, I could say we, because I, I really feel like you know, I don't like to put words in people's mouth, but I feel like he would agree, and, and even like Vass and Vorto would probably agree too. Like, you know, we didn't get educated by the public school system. You know, right. it was a combination of the school system failing each of us in in individual ways, and of us being the kind of people, all of us. And that's why Def Jux, that's why these pictures look the way they do, and that's why everything was packaged the way it was. It was all passion, and like. You know everything that i was involved in from a very early age because i got down with this whole scene when i was like 19 years old and so like i didn't see anything else besides people that were between two and five years older than me just giving everything to the music and that was my you know that was my my gestation period you know and so all of us i think were educated through making music you know and so like when you listen to something like DPA, you know, you're not hearing a beat made by somebody that like went to some college and like knows music theory and, you know, is really like trying to nerd out hip hop and make it something that it's not. What you're hearing is is a beat and production from somebody and vocals throughout both records from people that educated themselves through music like you know sampling records taught us how to be more musical you know sampling records gave us this art history that we wouldn't have been exposed to ourselves because a lot of those rock records and soul records and funk records that were being sampled those records had references in them to other cultural movements and like reading those liner notes and, and making those samples and learning how to cut chop and you know, these guys at the time were, were already on stages around the world, like that taught these guys, that gave them the education that today, if somebody came out with a track with three beat changes and that was super proggy sounding like that, you'd be like, oh, this is like some wonky college kid. But like, 
that wasn't the way that music was made in the late 90s and the early 2000s, you know, especially not in New York, you know, and, and yeah. I think I think a lot of times like people take their their sort of non New York eyes to, you know, artists like L or Cannibal Ox or Len or, or anybody you want to say and they they recontextualize things for 2020s and you know this was this was as much of a genuine urban movement as any other urban movement within hip hop or within art or within music